What's up guys, Gooms here and welcome back to Pro Cycling Manager 2022 for episode number 4 of the Severo Career Mode. Apologies for the delayed upload, this usually goes out on Tuesday. However, there's been a bit of an issue with this episode, I'll explain very shortly. We're currently on the 20th of March, uh, so you're probably wondering where, like, what happened to me on San Remo, and I'm gonna tell you. Um, I've already done San Remo et Trois Vevelgem, uh, Art of London, Ronde, and Barouet. And then there was a power cut. I've lost everything. And the recording file is corrupted. So I'm gonna have to re record everything, except San Remo. I can't do that because the previous weekly save was on the 13th. And I would have had to redo Paranis, and I couldn't be asked. So, what happened on San Remo? Well, to the shock of no one, I choked. And yeah, um, let's, let's go to E3 Arlebeck, I guess. And here goes our first race of the day then, the E3 Arlebeck, uh, plus five on Bessega. Alright, I'm gonna be extremely honest, that this is the best race day condition I've had, like, today. Because I didn't get a single positive day with Bessega until Parobe. And I can also tell you, I'm gonna be very upfront with you, uh, it was probably one of my worst episodes of all time. I did not achieve a single top five. On any classic. I mean, Rondo, you would have expected it. Uh, but the rest, purely abysmal. Purely abysmal. And I think Arne Maret won Gorevel Game ahead of. Was it Tom Dupont? Or Timothy Dupont? I, I mean, it's just. The episode made no sense. And the part where went off, I, I, again, I played it, no, not simulated, was Vigash Take Langen. Make of that what you want. We are in Oude Quarmont. Um, it's the biggest difficulty. This is where I've been absolutely destroyed by Wave Art, and it seems like it's gonna happen again. And uh, what I'm meant to do against Wave Like, it's, it's a genuine question. If anyone has found, like, something against Wave Art, just let me know. Because I'd like to know. Please. The group is not far. I think Bissega could probably reach that group here. Come on. Bridge them. I'm not, I can't lose to a group with a guy called Zylard. I don't even know who the fuck he is. Come on, lads, work with me. Mr. Pollitt and Mr. Bissiger. No, that I'm Bissiger. Mr. Pollitt and Mr. Wright. Thank you. I think that was what happened in the first time. Uh, I mean, first of all, I've been dropped way before. But also, like, they kept attacking for, like, 30 kilometers and no one could come back. All right, comeback number one is done. Who's this? Bonneville? Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I'll try and drop in all of the animals, and I don't want to get surprised this time. 10 k to go, everyone keeps on attacking. Uh, my yellow situation is very similar to Eric. It's dire. Okay, maybe I won't, because someone, like, is done. Yeah, Ben Turner's finished. It's going to be a top 10 finish, at least for Pesega. I guess the question now is which position? Uh, probably should have taken a better wheel than Yanni Moscon. Probably should have moved up a bit. But, uh, that's on me. Alright, let's try to actually move up. There's probably a few corners somewhere. Yeah, that, I, I knew there were corners, just didn't know where. Uh, Benny Garay is going to take it for Arlbeck. Honest Mathieu, oh, I'm so sorry Benny for jinxing you. Mathieu takes it ahead of Mathieu Mohoric, Jasper Stoeven, Wout Van Aert, Kaspar Asgame probably, and myself in P6. We'll take that. We'll take a plus three for Bessega. Uh, I believe I finished 7th or 6th um, when I first played it. I am the current title holder, uh, but I, I don't think I'm going to be able to do what I did last year. We've got 76 sprint. We'll see what we can work with. We've just cleared the Camelberg, and that means that we've got 26k to go. It's a group of 33 up front. Uh, there's a lot of riders trying to maybe make a move here, and also trying to drop the peloton. Tom de Vrindt has attacked with Luke Rowe and Ben Turner. Uh huh. Still 30 riders in this group. The, the, there's like 15 riders that came back, but some of them got dropped. So don't really, don't really uh, count them in. Hugo is going to hammer it down now. There goes Mauro Schmidt. He's in my wheel. Oh, Van Aert is in my wheel. Oh, yeah, we've lost. Last time it wasn't Van Aert. Uh, last time it was like someone... Sh oh, Van Aert died. Besega. Back to back for Stefan Besega. How the fuck has that happened? Okay, sure. Yeah, well, we'll take it. Woo! It's a win. Another good day for Besega. Uh, it's really surprising. I guess there was just like a massive run of bad form. Because he is in a fitness peak as well. It's a fitness peak with 93% fitness. Uh, due to me not having him race enough at the start of the season. But yeah, he just kept like dropping minus 2s, minus 3s, minus 4. I, I had like a minus 500 for London. I'm pretty sure like with 
I think after the second de Quarmont, so like 60k left, I had no one within two minutes of the first group. <laughs> uh, so that was not fun. And true PCM fashion, uh, there's been attacks for 15 kilometers with Von Hart, Von Marker, Halla, and Benny Germay. And they're gonna fight for the win of uh, Vart of Vlanderen. We're gonna fight for P5 with Fabian Linard and Stefan Bessega. Uh, it's a shame because I think I've done quite well throughout the race. Uh, it's just that, that there's a, that I can't follow everyone. And Von Hart pissed me off. He kept attacking, let him go. Got the win. Uh, I guess you won the Vart of, Vlam um, of Vlanderen. I won the game, the real winner here. Uh, and it's P5 as well for me. So on aggregate, I'm better than him. It's Ronde time. Uh, I believe last year I had done something decent-ish with Hugo. Well, he's not looking too bad this year. Uh, it's, I mean, it's a plus one, so he's going to be a great teammate for Fabian Lina and mostly for Pesega. Come on, son. Please, please achieve something. Can, can the race begin as well? Thank you. Please do something. You've got 79 and 80 today. And great secondary. This is Bissiger's day. Already doing a lot better than in my previous attempt. Because we're going to start with the Quarmont and I'm still within the first group. So is 100 riders. Um, I really wanted Hugo to give me water. Uh, also because he's the only available teammate that I have. Because everyone is like light years behind. But we're going we're gonna to move. Uh, speaking of moving, Von Hart has attacked and he's already bridged with the first group. Madwes, Van Der Poel, Alaf and Kosnefroy cannot follow. Good! Great basis. I think I've, I'm in the best group for me right now. So I need to maintain my position in this group. Uh, Koppenberg, I usually get dropped. I'm pacing 90 and I'm even losing positions right now, but I think I'm probably going to make it, I think. Yeah, I'm going to make it. Alright, good. 44k to go and we're in the main chasing group. Bessega is going to arrive from behind and join the peloton for the final Eau de Quarmont. Everyone is in the first group. I mean, sorry, the, the first group leads. There's no breakaway, none of that sort, none of that nonsense. And already Bentana going for a move. Benny Germay follows. So does Van Der Poel, Mathieu. I'll try and follow Stefan. I'll try and follow Yannimor Scon. I'll try and follow Yannimor Scon. We're in the wheel of Mr. Moscon. Germay has stopped. Struven has stopped as well. But Mathieu has carried on. And I don't want to, like, do work on artist's work. So you're going to have to take any kind of relay, Mr. World Champion. Paterberg, work on art's pacing, but he's not really doing a lot. It's not, it's not the dominant world on art we've, we've, uh, we've seen and we've known. It's a, it's a different version of him. It's like he's got a minus two or something, I don't know. But we are in the group E4 with most of the favourites. Up front, we've got Ben Tana, 9 seconds on Mathieu van der Poel, who's going to bridge the Britishman. Then we've got Jasper Stoven, and then 40 seconds behind is our group. Stefan Bissega is going to attack a bit to try and bridge at least with Mathieu van der Poel. See if we can uh, come back on the Dutch Prider. Yes, we can. Uh, sadly, I'm going to bring the entire peloton with me, I think. Yeah. Oh, and Wout is going to counter me. Wow, that wasn't very smart for me, now was it? That wasn't very smart. <laughs> Uh, we just lost the podium. We just lost the podium. I guess I'm gonna stop. Leave one out for P2. Bentana wins the Ronde van Vlanderen. And the final position on the podium is gonna be... For Stefan Bessega. Can I hold on? No, I cannot. It's gonna be Kasper Asgreen who gets P3. P4 for Magnus Sheffield. P5 for Bessega. I was strong. Probably strong enough for a podium. Uh, but I tried to, to... I tried to be bigger than I was. So our final chance to do something in the cobbles, and it's a plus five for Stefan Bessega again. Uh, something has happened to him. Something I, I don't know what it is, but I wish it could have happened to the rest of my riders, because the supporting cast today is far from ideal. I guess the zero on Lionel is not too bad, but with the stats on Bessega today, in the podium. It's something I can think of. We started the first few couple sectors and I'm pretty sure I saw something quite remarkable. Uh, where are they? That's what I, yeah. Bit Sagan is an A6. I think you've lost that mate. And there's been an attack in the sector of Warner Brion, that's very rare. That's usually like not favorites that would attack now, uh, but okay. It seems that some riders have decided to go and by some riders I meant to work one art. That's the third attack, that's the fourth now attack of Roy Van Aert, who follows Florian Vermeersch. 
And Dimitri Clays, on sure why Dimitri Clays is there, but well done to you, sir. More attacks. I didn't follow them. I maybe should have. Maybe I should have. I'm gonna hope that uh, Bahrain and Trek can bring me back. And it's, it appears that Bahrain will bring you back. You lot are unsung heroes, you know. I don't know who you're writing for. Probably Matty Maharaj. But I appreciate your work. Second sector, you don't want to let people go. That is Monsant Pével. And we do have some attacks at the front. I'm going to hope that they're stopping because they caught the breakaway. Uh, there we go, yeah. They're going to stop. Lovely, jobly. I've been blocked by Jacomo Nizzolo. No, that's Sonny Corbrali, actually. How did I expect Nizzolo to be there? I don't know. Uh, before 45k to go, and we're looking very good. Bessega is going to bring us back on Von Art Kungsteuben. Up the road, Kasper Asgrin, Vinny Germe. Huge move by Bentana, the winner of Wonderful Landeren. He's carrying on. He's carrying on, Bentana. Oh, actually, no, he's not. No, he isn't. Stefan Bessega takes the lead. In the end of Confort Pivel, we've got the Carrefour de Lap coming up. Eight riders left in the chasing group. Still Garay and Asgrin up front as we're going to start the Carrefour. There we go. And we're going to go for a move. We're going to go for a move. Attack by Stefan Bessega. Attack by Stefan Bessega. Let's see what we can, uh, let's see who we can drop. Oh, we can drop everyone. We can drop everyone. That's who we can drop. Bessega on his own. With 15k left. It's now a time trial for Stefan Bessega. And he knows how to win them. That could be my best Paris win, you know. That could be my best Paris win. And they're entering the Velodrome only now. 1 minute 49 behind Stefan Bessega. I mean, I've got no energy. Stefan is completely dead. But that should not prevent him from losing. Stefan Bessega is going to win the biggest race in his career. He lost the World Champions in the European Championship last year by finishing second. Today, no second places. Stefan Bessega wins the hell of the North. And it is the first monument for Cervelo. Right, I don't know what he's on. It's another burst fight for Bessega. Um, however, it's a finish I hate on this Amstel Gold race. Um, it, it's the one with the cow bag, literally at the end. Yeah, I'm so gonna lose this. It has been a very, very interesting Amstel Gold race. Um, I can't remember the last time I've played one where I'm not in the peloton chasing them, but like they're now chasing me. And I've got two riders in shape up front with Mauro and Bessega. Still a group of 10. Uh, should I get water? Should I get water? Fuck okay, it, let's get water. Just in case I'll follow Mr. Bardet. Don't drop, Carnison. Tobias, come on. You're, you're better than this, you know that. Stefan is well placed, that's for sure. Please tell me someone's gonna attack immediately, like Von Art. No? I'll follow out, just in case. I'll use the gel. Probably should have done that a bit earlier. 1.6k to go, there's a bridge, I can't see shit. There goes Will Von Art, Bissega is going to explode from the wheel. <laughs> yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. Vinny Germay wins the uh, Amstel ahead of Will Von Art. Stefan Bissega comes in P3. Yeah, I, I, I got obliterated. It's done. Bissega has a minus 3. So the plus 5 streak is over for him. Plus 3 for Mauro Schmidt. I guess he's my leader today. 10k to go. I'm gonna attack for Mauro Schmidt. See what happens. And I'll follow with McNulty as well, just in case, give myself a bit of a buffer. Uh, Mauro's going to get caught up very quickly. What's happened to Brandon? Okay, Brandon is still well placed. Come on, Mauro. Hold on, brother. Uh, not going to attack with Brandon McNulty. I'll follow Vlasov, I guess. Come on, Schmidt. Come on. Gap is 8 seconds. But I, I know for a fact that in the, um, the next meal week, I'm dying. So I gotta, I gotta make the most out of what I have now. 10 seconds at the bottom of the meal week for Mauro Schmidt. But he's gonna get co-op by uh, Well Van Aert and, uh, and all the others. Disappointing. I tried. It didn't work out, but I tried. But McNulty, Brian McNulty, hasn't given up yet. Let's follow Mathieu van der Poel, shall we? Nope, let's not, because he's already attacked. What, what is he on about? What do you mean he's attacked? There's one kilometer two left! Uh, shock, I'm gonna lose. It's not even, it's probably not even gonna be a top 10 for Brandon McNulty today. Uh, I need to wait until like the flat portion to launch my efforts. But it's way too late. 
Dylan Tunes wins la flèche while I'm ahead of Mathieu Van Der Poel. Can I get a top 10 at least? Yeah, I can. I can. It's gonna be P9, I think, for McNulty. Uh, yeah, I, I hate La Flèche Wallonne. I don't like stages like these. I just don't. Final race of this episode, and it is Liège, Bastogne Liège. We're gonna finish with a plus five on Maro Schmidt. He looked good on, uh, on La Flèche. I tried to win with him. Didn't work out, as uh, we've seen. But I've won one big Flanders Classic. Uh, sorry, yeah, one big Flanders Classic. I've won the main Flanders Classic. Or couple Classic. How about I win the big Ardennes one? Yeah? To try and cement my place in World Tour next year. Because I need the UCI to see that we deserve this place. Maro Schmidt is on his own. There is no teammates with him as we start La Côte de la Roche au Faucon, the final difficulty of this uh, Ardennes classic. 30 seconds for the leading group of Primo Froglitz, Mathieu Van Eppel, Juan Ayuso, Alexey Lutsenko, and Benny Germay. God, this man has been everywhere on this campaign so far. Um, I'm, I'm giving it literally all I have with Mauro trying to follow here in the wheel of the winner of La Flèche Roland Dillantons who lost more than 20 seconds in that single hill that's that's worrying it's very worrying because up front uh, Mathieu Van der Poel doesn't yeah no Mathieu Van der Poel has not given up yet shit I think we've lost we have a six man chasing group Vlasov Schmidt Paris Peintre that is uh, Aurélien not Valentin Tunes Bardet Woods are gone 35 seconds. Come on. 30 seconds. We, ca we could potentially come back. No, up, up front, they keep attacking. They keep attacking. We're not coming, we're not coming back. We're not coming back uh, because this is a downhill until the end. Mathieu Van Der Poel is going to take Liège, Bastogne, Liège, unless Benny Guerre manages to, to challenge him. To be fair, knowing him, he probably could. Uh, I'll just make sure that I get P6. Benny Guerre, Lutsenko? Girmay, Girmay, Benny Girmay gives Africa their first monument. Van der Poel, Roglic, Lutsenko, Ayuso, Mauro Schmidt, Dylan Tunes, Vlasov, Parépentre, and rounding up the top 10 is going to be Romain Bardet. Not bad. It's not a P6 for us. And so we wrap this episode. Um, you didn't see Samaro, as I said, but we, we were shit. Um, on the City Man International Coupe Bartali, uh, we didn't do too bad. I think we got a state win with McNulty and we won the GC with McNulty, which is good. We won Gorville game, uh, we did not win a Ronde de but we got a top 5. We won Par Roubaix, uh, oh, we got a top 5 on a stage in Turkey with Simon Pelo, get in there. Uh, and we got third with Pesega on the Amstel, we then got a top 10 on both Flesh and Liege. I think it's a successful episode for me. That nevertheless is going to wrap up this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then please leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel and want to see more of the content going forward, then do feel free to subscribe, as we've got the Vuelta playthrough coming very, very soon on the channel. And I'll see you in the very near future. My name is Guillaume. Have an amazing day. See ya. Pass me the phone.